Investigators just released surveillance footage of the shooting that left one man dead. As you mentioned, the young lady who survived the shooting was taken to a local hospital in critical condition. Police say the gunman left the scene here in a black Jeep Cherokee, which they believe was stolen. Take a good look at the person police say gunned down a 19 year old man and injured a teenage girl on Detroit's west side. It happened at this marathon gas station on Grand River near Shiawassee around 415 Tuesday afternoon. And it was like five, ten seconds after I came from the store, I just heard about five or six gunshots. Just bow, bow, bow. I looked out the window, I just seen a bunch of people running. And then I ended up seeing somebody getting picked up, a girl getting picked up and thrown into the truck that was over there. And then um, all I heard was he dead, he got shot in the head, he gone. Police say the 19-year-old man killed was pumping gas when two to three cars approached him. One person got out of one of the vehicles. They had some words. Uh, the person that was pumping the gas tried to get back into his vehicle and a gentleman from one of those vehicles fired several shots hitting the male. A 17 year old girl was struck as well. Police say the gunman left the scene and headed east on Grand River. The murder and shooting in broad daylight is one of the latest acts of violence in the city. Three people were shot at a motel on the west side Tuesday morning. <laughs> Three teens were struck by gunfire at a youth football game Sunday after police say two groups with no connection to the game got into a shootout over a beef on social media. The investigation into the murder at the Marathon gas station is ongoing. Commander Daryl Patterson says one thing is clear. What we need to do is we need to stop trying to settle all our differences with gunplay. Um, it's only going to hurt families. It's going to hurt your family if you're the one using the gun. It's going to hurt the victim's family if you're the one being shot. So we need to stop all this gunplay. DPD had a number of chaplains here to comfort the uh, victim's grieving family. They're working to find the gunman and others involved. If you have any information about what happened here, please call Detroit Police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. And remember, you can remain anonymous. Shalom. Shalom, Kohulayam La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachardash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures said do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ais from Yahweh. Back at it again with uh, with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And as you saw in the uh, the news clip, man, uh, you know, Jake out here being wild, man, a brute beast, man. You know, uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is judging Israel left and right, man. Okay, so, you know, without further ado, man, I ain't going to blab. I'm going to let these scriptures talk. So let's go ahead and get the first scripture. This is Deuteronomy. Let's go to the curses. 28. <clears throat> it's a lot. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 54, and it reads this. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And we see that constantly in our, in our nation, man. Okay, this is a prime example of it, man. Okay, what was so bad that you had to take another man's life that you couldn't just sit down and resolve that situation through conversation, man? Okay, just sitting down and, and, and you know, talking about uh, what's bothering you and, and why do you feel disrespected, disrespected, etc., man? But, you, but yet, you know, you came with, th with three, three cars and you hopped out and you took this man's li life in broad daylight, man. Okay, at a gas station, which I'm pretty sure that you know had cameras. And on top of that, the car that you was in was stolen. You know? So man, this is this is this is part of our struggle, man. Okay? And you know, the uh, part of the curses, man, our, our people hating one another, man. You know? And you how about Shim Yahweh Shah judging our people left and right, man. We are we are in the we are in the last days, man. But let's keep on going, man. Because everything everything is of your by Shim Yahweh Shah. So let's get that. Like I said, this was judgment. Regardless how it was done, how it was manifested, it still was judgment. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10. <clears throat> I'm going to read verses 30 to 31. And it reads this. 
For we know him. So lock, let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. I, uh, Hebrews 10, verse 30 to 31. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And again, Yahweh shall judge his people. Verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So look, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not playing, man. He's judging Israel left and right, man. Okay? And, 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 and more, you know, when, when things really hit the fan and the doors of repentance is closed, he's going to start coming uh, to you so-called jakes that's in the truth. The ones that, you, the ones of you, the ones of, Salaki, I'm excited. The ones of you that are not right, man. The ones of, the ones of you that uh, 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 took the bag out here spewing out madness, telling our people to follow uh, Esau Edom's philosophies, his ways, man. You know, that's that that's that uh first Peter chapter four, verse 17, man. That's gonna start, that's gonna start in the house of uh Israel, man. The ones that's out here uh so-called doing the work, etc. Man. Okay. But let's keep on going, man. And our people don't fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Our people have no fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh whatsoever, man. And we got a scripture for that too. Let's go to Sirach. <clears throat> this is Sirach chapter 39. Starting off at verse 28, and it reads this. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So this is pleasing to Yahweh to put you to death, to bring judgment upon you. Reading on. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So Yahweh Shemashah made things to uh, bring out his, his judgments, man. Okay, like I said, whether it be fire, hell, famine, and death, and it's going it's to give you more examples right here. Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword. Okay, today's modern day sword is the gun. And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction verse 31 they shall rejoice in his commandment okay because these 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 death angels are waiting they're man they're they're, they're waiting man. they're like are you now lord is, is, is it time yet lord to do this they are waiting they're, they're eager to to bring bring forth these judgments man they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth so these 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 death angels are waiting man patiently waiting to bring forth those judgments man OK, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come, they shall not. They shall not transgress his word. So when you how about Shem Yahweh Shah say, hey, go ahead and uh, go ahead and put a uh, Michael Jackson to death. Go ahead and put little Rayway from 125th Street to death. Hey, man, look, man, before you how about Shem Yahweh Shah even blink, if he blinks, it's going to be done. OK, period, man. But let's keep on moving. <clears throat> let's go to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, and it reads this. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the just unto the day of judgment to be punished. Woo. Let's read that again. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So, you know what? I ain't going to break it down. Let's, let's, let's get another scripture to break that down, man. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. So look, man, like, like the scripture just said in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, okay, the, the souls of the righteous are going to be delivered out of, out of temptation, out of trouble. But the, but the wicked is going to be reserved for the day of punishment, man. Point blank, period. Okay? So again, that's the one-third that's going to be saved, that's going to be reserved, okay, 
uh, uh, shielded, guided in that right direction. But the two thirds is going to be reserved and pushed and given to destruction, the death, to punishment, famine, pestilence, etc. Man, let's keep on going. Let's go to Romans. Because I said something earlier, I'm going to get it. Uh, Romans chapter 3. Let's start off at verse 10. And we're going to end off at verse 18. And it reads this. As it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. As it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. There is none that un so like it. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, this is two thirds of our people. They they don't seek after Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. The only ones that seeking after Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is the remnant, man. And that's why you're gonna keep on seeing stuff like this happening, man. Like you saw in that news clip, it's gonna be worse than that, man. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Verse twelve. They are all gone out the way. They are all to, so like it. They are all gone out the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Their throat is an open sepular. Their throat is an open sepular with their tongues. They have used deceit. The poison of the ass is the poison of the asp is under their tongue. So they they basically taking the philosophies and the customs of Esau, man. Because this this is describing uh, who, uh, Esau, man. But our people have taken their ways of life and ran with it, man. Verse fourteen: Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness? Their feet are swift to shed blood, like you saw in the video, man. This dude's feet was quick, swift to go shed his brother's blood, man. To go put his brother to death. Destruction and misery are in their ways, like you saw in the video. And the way of peace they have not known. That's right, man. Our people don't want peace, man. Our people want mayhem, chaos, destruction, to be wicked, to go, you know, sell drugs to their to they own people, put their own people to death, have sex with their neighbor's wife, man. And amongst other things, man, our people are off, man. And the way of peace have they not known. And that's right. They don't know peace, man. Well, why is that? Why is that? Because they lack the very first thing that you have to have in this truth. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. Our people don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Period, man. Okay? Period, man. Let's close out here. So, Second Edris, <clears throat> Salakia. Second Edris, chapter 7. I'm going to read verses 20 to 21, and it reads this. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. For the Most High have given them straight commandment to such as come. For the Most High have given them straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live even as they came and what they should do and what they should Observe to avoid punishment and what they should observe to avoid punishment, man. But our people despise Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Our people despise the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Our people want to do things their way. They think that, the, as, as the scriptures say in Proverbs, uh, uh, a man's way seemeth right to his, uh, a, a man's way seemeth right to himself, roughly paraphrasing, but those are the ways of death, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So, man, we're going to leave it there, man. Lord willing, I hope and I pray this is edifying to the hopeful elect. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.